going to leave this shit alone, right? I think y'all niggas see me in suits too much and got me fucked up, man. That's what I really think. Don't let them $11,000 suits you see me in get shit fucked up, nigga. Please, nigga. Please. Now, I'm going to break this down, and that's the last day I'm ever talk about these niggas. Or this show, or whatever, because I don't even watch y'all motherfucking show. Watch that shit. Niggas send me shit. This is how I find information out. And I'm going to break down this whole story for people who don't even know what's going on, because yesterday... Niggas is like, yo, what's going on? Niggas don't even know what the fuck going on on y'all niggas shit. They got to find out through us. And we don't even do fucking hip-hop podcasting or whatever. We don't even podcast, nigga. I got a show in a network, nigga. So look, last November, I started this show, It Is What It Is, a sports show. Mad people was coming to me, yo. Kim, I want you to do a podcast, be on this podcast, be on my podcast. I'm like, I don't want to talk to niggas for a living. What the fuck I look like talking to niggas for a living? I'd be depressed if I had to talk to niggas for a living. No disrespect to all the other podcasters do interview. I'm just saying, me personally, I can't talk to niggas for a living every day for my income. That just can't be me. But look, I like sports. So I said, let me do a sports show, right? I shot a couple episodes. Two, three episodes. I'm like, I'm going to give this shit a shot because I want to talk about sports the way I wanted to talk about sports. Pass me a lighter, yo. Right there. I got it. So I want to talk about sports the way I want to talk about sports. So I did two, three episodes. In November, I did two in November. I did one in December. Then Christmas came and New Year's came. Right after New Year's, my mom got sick. She got cancer. So I couldn't film. My mom was sick from, she got diagnosed with cancer January 7th. She died February 9th. So that whole month, you got to realize where our brain is at. Watching your mother die. I don't, you know, I wouldn't wish that on nobody sitting there watching your mother die for a month. Every day watching your mother die. That's, you know, I wouldn't wish that. I, I don't care how much I hate you. I wouldn't wish nobody to have to see that ever. That was some fucked up shit. You know, I handle it good, and niggas don't know what I go through. But to sit there and watch your mother die for a month, that's some wild shit, bro. It's, it's wild. It's crazy. We'll talk about that another day. So about March 1st, when I got myself back together, I called Mace. I'm like, yo. Be a guest on my sports show. He said, cool. He came through. He had fun. He said, you want to be partners? I said, yeah, let's be partners. No investors. Nobody giving us bread. We put up our own money. We said, yo, let's see how this shit go. If it go, we, we'll see what happens. But let's film for the rest of the year and see how it go. So we did that. We hired a female who was in college. Her name was Treasure Wilson. Uh, senior sports, not just sports journalist, a journalist, period. She got the NAACP award for journalism. We hired her while she was in school. That's my water, bro. So we hired her fresh while she's in school still, paying her. She ended up graduating and all that. So we're doing a sports show. And while we're doing this show, we, me and Mace, you know, now, like I said, I did three episodes, four episodes, that November, December, took off the whole January and February because my mom was sick. So I got back to it in March. We do about eight, nine shows. And I see uh, Nori and Joe Buttons saying, yo, I love when people fail at doing what they doing. So I took that as, oh, niggas see me do it in November. My mom's got sick and they thought I quit doing it. So they was like, yeah, especially sports shows and this, that, and the third, and I love seeing them fail. Later on, 
They said they wasn't talking about me, so I do want to apologize to Nori publicly because he said I never apologized to him publicly, which I didn't. And I, I do, I, Nori, my nigga, so I truly, truly do apologize. I took it as, I'm just telling you how I took it. As I did the show in November, December, I didn't do it for two, three months. Nobody really knew, didn't know the reason why I wasn't doing it. And when I picked back up, it seemed like, oh, this nigga Kim doing sports shows one week, not doing it. That's how I took it. If I took it wrong, I apologize. So when I seen that, I'm like, niggas coming at me? Pause. I ain't even bothering nobody. I'm just trying to do my shit. I put up a little video about Nori and Joe Buttons and this, that, and the third. If y'all wasn't talking about me, I truly apologize. I just, the re, I'm telling you why I took it like that. So, shout especially Nori, because that's my nigga for 20 something years. So, I, me and me and him, good, we good now, but he said I never publicly apologize. Cool. I'm doing sports. I'm not bombing nobody. During these sports shows, me and Murder talk about times from back in the days. Now, mind you, so I'm taking this show. Me and May start the show March is December. Just to give y'all an idea what's going on. We are number two in analytics when it comes to all debate sports shows, or sports shows period on YouTube, or analytics per month. Only people ahead of us in sports on YouTube, and this is no disrespect to no other sports shows or nothing like that, is first take. So I'm not, and I'm not shitting on nobody, no other sports shows because all your sports shows, you know, gave me life to want to do this. I grew up watching Sports Center. I grew up watching Skip Bill. Even though I talk about Skip Bill, this on the show and give him a hard time. We gotta, we can't act like Skip ain't a staple in the sports community. Shannon Sharp, another nigga, gave me inspiration to do it because he was being himself. Number two, we num, we number two, analytics, straight up and down. It is with his number two sports show on YouTube with the big shows in the morning. Well, well, during our time that we come on, I should say. I don't want to say all the sports shows, but 8 in the morning, Eastern time. First take, guys, shout out to the big homie, Stephen A. Smith. So during our shows, sometime, me and Mace... Talk about old stories. I know me since I was 11 years old, maybe younger than that, maybe 9 or 10 years old. So we talk about old stories. And I ain't going to be long-winded because I don't want to be up here all day. I just want to make sure everybody's super clear on why I'm doing this. During one of our shows, I was talking about how me and Mace in the 90s, which I was talking about the actual year I was talking about was 1992. We was in a whorehouse. And we just laughing, having fun. And we saying, we, you know, we, whatever, we was in the whole house. Mace, you know, Mace don't always give me permission to talk about our old stories because, you know, he's a man of God and he got other shit going on, but he remembers his past sometimes, so sometimes he's let me talk. Anyway, I'm talking about this time we in the whole house and all that shit. Talking about um, we slid a bitch, all this shit. Cool, whatever. I see a clip where on on Joe Button's podcast, where Melissa Ford is talking about, oh, it might have been underage girls in there. First of all, I only like older bitches. Second of all, it was 1992. We was underage. That's A and B. I, we wasn't supposed to be in there. We wasn't 18. I just turned motherfucking 16. I ain't even defending myself on that nonsense. You're not even from this country. I don't know what the fuck was going on in the, in the whole houses in Canada or wherever you from, or whatever pedophile shit they on, wherever you from, we not on that. I ain't even going into that. More of the story, she said it. Knowing the times we in, Joe Buttons and them went in on her or whatever. They're like, yo, that's some serious allegations, this, that, and the third. But they didn't edit it out. So from two things I take from that, they either threw her under the bus, or they said, fuck it, let's get the ratings, or whatever they want to do. Either way it came out, it could have been edited out. It wasn't live like I'm doing live right now. So I ignored it because it was nonsense. So I ignored the shit. We said a little something on our show, but we don't get that. We don't give. See, they we don't give this type of energy I'm doing on live. That type of business on our show, my nigga. 
Our shit is sports and our fun. So this energy don't go on our show. This cam energy on my own personal time. So we said a little something. I ain't even say nothing. I said, fuck the bitch. The bitch don't know what she's talking about, whatever. So uh, yesterday, whatever day, she issues an apology. I'm like, nah, don't apologize. Because I was going to address it when I felt like addressing it. But the reason I addressed it yesterday is because it's like, yo, you say that foul shit? Because that's some foul shit to say. Man felt like that shit, like, and the times we in for you to make them type of allegations, don't know what the fuck you talking about? You serious? Come on, my nigga. Come on, my nigga. Stop playing with niggas, man. Anyway, she tried to apologize, and I said to myself, nah, because if I address it in a month or whenever I felt like addressing it, people going to be like, oh, Kim, she apologized, leave it alone. You can't just say shit like that, and, and three days later, two days later, be like, oh, my bad, I wasn't thinking. You damn right you wasn't thinking. You, you wasn't thinking. Y'all shouldn't have said that. Um, you know, that's some serious allegations. Why well, say that in the beginning? You're not even from here. You're not even from this country. I could have went straight to Ice T, fucked you in the bathroom for $2,000 when you was fucking doing waitressing. I didn't even go there. You used to fuck in the bathroom. The Kit Kat Club, one of them old ass club bitch. Stop. You a video vixen. Anyway, so I addressed it yesterday. I'm like, nah. Don't say sorry because some, that's some serious shit. And I didn't even get at you the way I should have got at you. I left it alone. I'm like, this bitch is bugging. Try to say sorry. So I addressed it yesterday. So I wake up today to go on live. I'm banned for two days on live for who knows. I say, let me see why. It's the picture where it's been flagged and I'm banned from live. Whatever. I don't give a fuck. That shit don't bother me. All them little technology games y'all playing, nigga. I'm from the payphone era, nigga. I had a beeper. I had a beeper, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? Shit don't bother me. So, the reason I'm doing this live is just to break that down for people who didn't even understand what was going on. I was going to leave it alone, but then she says sorry, which the sorry wasn't even genuine. That shit was fake. I don't know even convinced her to do this shit, but whoever did, that was smart. Because that was, yo, now if I sue niggas for defamation of character, I'm a sucker, right? Now if I sue y'all niggas for defamation of character, I'm a sucker. Well, I might be a sucker. I just might be. I don't know yet. I'm thinking about it. Pause. I'm thinking about being a sucker. For defamation of character. Next thing I see when I wake up, my man shows me. Because like I said, y'all niggas, I, I don't pay y'all niggas on my, I don't know when y'all come on. I don't want to, I don't, I don't know. And, and listen, it's no slight to y'all, no disrespect to y'all, but what y'all do is use this live right now for content. For content. Y'all, we do sports. How the fuck you know what's going on on our show to talk about on y'all show? We do sports, bro. But this will be more content for the show. Watch. This will be the whole topic of their next show. This is what they do, so this is what the last time I'm doing it. They don't care about getting ass whippings over there. They don't care about dissing niggas. They don't care about no consequences. It's all content for the show. They don't give a fuck. And this will be their content for this show, which is fine. So now, I wake up, and my man shows me uh, Queen's Flip talking about 
Nobody gonna help Melissa Ford, none of you podcasters. Help her do what? Disrespect niggas some more? Niggas act like I'm coming for them. Every action has a reaction. You can't do what you do and just then, then when somebody reacts to what you do, you be like, oh, why are they reacting like that? Queen Flip. Nobody gonna help ML Ford. Nobody gonna help ML Ford. Now this nigga here, Queen Flip, I took this little nigga under my wing. Under my wing. Not like that everyday shit. I took a liking to the nigga pause and I was giving this nigga mad advice. He was podcasting. I'm not, I don't, I wasn't into that shit. I'm telling him what to do, how to get sponsors. Yo, oh, you got this many views, you should go do this. Oh, you got this many dudes, you should go do that. Oh, you should go do this. It's teaching them game that I'm in, the, in a game that I'm not even in. He want to do skits. Popping up to my events. I got sneaker release. No, I got sneakers. He pop up to the sneaker release. Playing games. Can I do a skit? Can I do a skit? Yeah, come on, let's do a skit. I'll do a skit with the nigga. Come on, let's do a skit. Yo, can I do another skit? Yeah, I do. come on, let's do a skit. Yo, can I wear your, your army jacket and the stuff from the Get em Girls video and the skit? Sure, skit. Which one? Oh, yo, can I pull up with the I Really Mean It jacket and the skit and the skit and, and drive the truck like you came out and I Really Mean It video? Yeah. Sure, sure, skit. No problem. Now, man, all this shit, just because I thought I liked the nigga, I thought he was kind of funny, so I'm trying to help the nigga out. Now, he was working with Joe Buttons, which is cool. I, and shout out to Joe Buttons for hiring all these washed up niggas, all these old motherfuckers who ain't got nothing else to do. Shout out to you, my nigga, because these niggas is washed, nigga. You, you open a dry cleaning business, nigga. You, you killing them with that. I asked Queens Flip for a favor because I was still mad about, you know, niggas thinking they was dissing my sports show when I first did it. So I asked him for a favor. He didn't do the favor. Now, my favor may have been a little extreme given, but that's the thing about favors. You don't never know what the favor is when you want your favor back. Don't ask for favors without making a clear-cut deal of what the favor is, because when I ask for a favor, you don't know what my favor is. He didn't do it. I blocked the nigga. I blocked him for my gram, blocked him for calling my phone, blocked the nigga, all that. Only reason I didn't really go hard on Flip, because I like the nigga genuinely. I like, and not only that, I like his son. Shout out to Queen Flip Jr. Yo, that's my man. I don't know if you're going to be upset about the video, but it is what it is. This your pops. I, I fuck with Queen Flip Jr. And I got mad respect for your mother and all the work she's doing in Queens. Mad respect for your family, bro. And when I respect niggas' family, I leave niggas alone. Like, yo, now nah, I fuck with they family. It's a bunch of niggas that I like. I, look, I got a slogan, man. If I ain't touch you, if me and you got a problem, I love somebody who love you, bro. That's all it's about. Few niggas ain't just clean. If I, if I if I love somebody that love you, and we got a problem, I ain't got no problem with you. He told me, "Oh yo, today, oh yo, nobody got Melissa Ford back on this. You gonna let her stay on this? Yo, bro, have her back in what? First of all, let me tell y'all for people who didn't see it." I'm just going to tell y'all, so let's break this down A to Z real, A to, A to Z real, real fast. You choose us to fucking with young people, which you have no motherfucking proof or anything like that, which we don't even fuck with anybody else. Secondly, we was underage. Thirdly, you apologize about some shit because you know you was dead wrong. One, two, three, four. Huh? Fourth, me, I say, fuck you and your apology. Stand on what you said, and I'll get to you when I get to you. I didn't even go crazy. Niggas like, oh, Kim is wild. And Kim, oh, how you gonna let us stay on the Lonely Hill? A Lonely Hill? 
All I said is, fuck your apology, and I'll get to you when I get to you, and I said nothing valid for you accuse us of some more shit that's inaccurate. Now it's a lonely hill. I'm on the lonely hill, nigga. How you co-signing her saying some shit like that? Now she on the lonely hill, nigga? You co-signing bullshit. That's what you doing. You co-signing bullshit. I'm on the lonely hill, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? I can't tell y'all how much murder don't give a fuck. Y'all be thinking, see, y'all don't see makes like, murder don't give a fuck, bro. Y'all get, get, listen, y'all get in and let that nigga fool you. That nigga don't give a fuck, B. I be like, yo, chill. Nah, killer. Nah, it's, it's too much chill. It's too, like murders on some, no, murder may be from the 80s. Not fucking, may, murder might be mid 80s, nigga. He been outside since he's about seven. Don't let what he got going on the show fool you. Murder is about a eight. See, murder been outside literally, and I'm not gassing it because I used to see him. I, this, I used to walk to McDonald's with my mother when I was seven because I couldn't go outside by myself. Murder was on the corner by itself. I'm not no cat, no kizzy whatsoever. Murder might be like an 85 nigga. So you don't even know this nigga mentality. Anyway, Lonely Queens Flip, yo, that's some bullshit. And I'm going to leave that with, at that, my nigga. I'm going to leave that at that. You know all the shit I did for you and helped you and gave you advice and let you wear my clothes and drive my cars and wear my jewelry and come to my offices and everything else. Leave me the fuck alone, bro. I left you alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, bro. Lonely hill. Last thing I'll say, I just wanted y'all to get the complete story because niggas is like, oh, Kim is wild and now I'm blocked from live. And Oh, all I said was, we'll get to you when we get to you for making false accusations. That bitch is on the lonely hill and you dead fucking wrong. Now I got more shit that I could bring out. I, I, it's called a slow drip pause. If you fuck with me, I'll slow drip you. Gynecology report, all type, I'll slow drip you, man. Pause. What I'll end is saying this. Back to Treasure Wilson and, and my show and our show. It is what it is. I want to thank all you guys for making us be number two. I, I'm going to give y'all early, some early shit that's going to come out on Monday. They just, Complex Sports just did the top 25 sports reporters in the world. Or in America, I should say. I'm not sure if it's the world or America, but probably America. We, me and Mace been doing this since March, I said. It's just turned December. I ain't going to tell you what number we are. But yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not, I'm not, and I, it's not internet. I'm talking about everything. I'm talking about Charles Barkley, Stephen A. Smith. Shannon, Shannon uh, Sharp, Skip Bayless, all the other podcasters. Shout out to my nigga Gilbert Arena. Shout out to my nigga Kevin Garnett, Stack 5, Matt Barnes. Shout out to my niggas. Word. Shout out to Deion Sanders. Shout out to Stephen A. Smith. All y'all niggas who helped me get to get us, pardon me, me and Mace, to where we at. Thank you guys, man. Very, very much appreciated, bro. Very much. Especially Gilbert, Gilbert Arenas. He gave us a lot of game. Especially Stephen A. Smith. You know, he put us on his show. He came and did our show before anybody else did our show. Thank you guys, man. But the list come on Monday. Check us, my nigga. Since March. Niggas been in this joint 20 years. Shout out to Complex. So leave us alone. We do sports. We don't fuck with y'all niggas, man. We don't fuck with y'all. Back to the network. That is what it is. Network, real quick. Treasure Wilson, we gave her her own show. 
22-year-old black woman, fresh out the University of Miami, Tampa, Florida, NAACP award for journalism, her own show. Because we're empowering black women. We don't want her just on our show doing sports for us. We want her to have her own platform as a young black woman and get money and learn shit and teach us shit at the same time. So she has a show that comes out every Friday called Check Out the Stat on the Is What It Is Network, 3 p.m. Eastern. It's about women's sports, women entertainers. She has stuff about guys on there, but we, want, we, we mainly want to make it about women. And we've been doing this since her sixth week. So don't act like we just gave her a show because you guys going through this. No, we been gave her the show, nigga. Been gave her the show. She's actually working on another show for gamers that she's going to help executive produce. We don't just put niggas in front of a microphone. We put them behind a microphone as well. So she's the moderator on is what it is. She has her own show called Check Out the Stat. And then she's working on a gaming show right now for gamers. We empower black women, man. Young black women. Fuck is you talking about? You never have your own show. If you get your own show now, it's because I, I said this to niggas to give you your own show. You work for Joe Buttons. You went to NYU and all these colleges and did all this shit and did all these videos and everywhere else and you ended up on Joe Button's couch. Let's do this even better. Let's get the receipts so it ain't no cap, ain't no kissy, ain't no nothing. I bet you Stat Baby make more than anybody on that show besides Joe Buttons. Let's go to the bank with it. 22 years old, fresh out of motherfucking college. Let's see who makes more money on y'all show besides Joe Buttons, the Stat Baby. Joe Buttons ain't even drying y'all out. He just washing y'all up because y'all walk. Y'all niggas, listen, man. Fucking dry clean. Yo, washed. Washed. Give y'all some more game real quick, right? Give you some more shit. I remember niggas was trying to diss Gilly and Wallow for doing ads and reading ads and saying, oh, they're reading ads. They got to sell ads to get money. They're reading ads. Well, that's where a lot of money is at. And I ain't going to give up everybody's secrets because now I'm learning the game. I'm learning the business. I ain't give a fuck before about how this shit work. Now I'm learning the business. And shout out to Prize Picks, which we didn't do business with. My, our motherfucking homies is underdog fantasy. Yeah. Big boy checks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, half a ticket checks. The re-up gonna be wow. <laughs> the re-up gonna be wow. <laughs> we'll, we'll, get, we'll talk about that later. Big boy checks at underdog fantasy. Salute. Love y'all niggas. Shout out to Nick and the whole team. So... When we was doing this deal, and I'm not going to put a lot of people business out there. I'm not, I'm not even going to talk about it crazy. More of the story is, Prospects had a deal on the table for a lot of money, and we turned it down. And that, I'm sorry, Prospects. I'll fuck with y'all, but Underdog and Nick had our heart. It was a lot of money. A lot of money. A lot of money. Eight digits. We got to turn it down. So now I see all these prize picks everywhere, people promoting prize picks, prize picks, prize picks, which underdog, I'm telling y'all, they win over 30 states, California, Florida, Texas, just to name a few. Use code CAM, nigga. If you use code CAM, we're going to double up what you put up, up to $100. Niggas fucking with me this year, they won about $3 million. Four people going to the Super Bowl. One person won 250000 Code Cam is some shit, you know, part of my plug, but you know, all the story is prospects all got all this extra money because we turn down mad money. Now they sprinkling money on y'all niggas. Just put a little bit there. 
We'll put a little bit there. We'll put a little bit there. And I ain't mad at y'all. Go get your money. I'm not even talking about Joe Biden. I'm just talking about general. But the shit we about to do, an underdog gonna be wow, my nigga. It's gonna be crazy. Shout out to, shout out, like I said, no disrespect, because them niggas came with the bag. I'll fuck with them niggas. But underdog just had a different type of bag. It is what it is. Monday through Thursday. Matter of fact, pardon me, we Sunday through Thursday now, my bad. Sunday through Thursday. 8 a.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. on Sundays. Check out the stat every Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern, females in sports, black female doing her thing, and she has a gaming show coming out. Last thing I'll say is this. I wasn't even going to drop this ball, and I, I'm not. I can't do it yet. I can't do it yet. But well, watch the next shit I do in sports, nigga. Watch what I bring to the table, nigga. Watch the shit we about to do and bring the black people together, my nigga. Watch what I do with this shit right here. Watch this, my next move. It might be done by this evening, nigga. It may be done by this evening. Maybe tomorrow. If not the latest Tuesday, because it's a weekend coming up. But well, watch how I bring this shit together. Be fucked up about this, my nigga. What this next shit I'm about to do. I held up about an hour of my day with this bullshit. I got shit to do. But I had to clear the record, man. So I appreciate all the fans, everybody who watches it. It is what it is. And I fuck with y'all niggas. Y'all love it, niggas. I don't got no problems with y'all. You leave me alone, I will leave you alone. I have no pro I really don't want to be doing this, to be totally honest with you. You hear me? I really don't. But I will. I'll do it again. I will. I really will. Leave me alone. Leave me the fuck alone, please. Now use this shit for your content, for your show coming up. Talk about it. Talk about what I said right, what I said wrong. Talk about my bandana. Oh, they's playing Tupac. Oh, it's Tupac. Go ahead, use it for your shit. We already know what you're going to do. I won't do it again unless you make me. 